I knew they were prodigies right away. At an art class in downtown Okemos, the owner discovered two boys whose art stood out from the rest. I taught K through 12 for a while and that age all draw things pretty similar. Some are better than others where their line was like something I learned in college. Dwyer says their attention to detail separated them from other nine-year-olds. Lewis just has to look at a flower once and he can um, remember it. He doesn't even need it in front of him. And she says that's where the prodigy comes in. And it was just in his brain. It was like, you know, like a computer had the motherboard. <laughs> he had he had what he knew. He knew what he had to do and it just was there already. He never learned it from anyone. It was just in him. Max and Lewis have different styles of art. They're both very talented, but they can't do what the other one does. Max just likes to do bugs. He likes to use pen and ink, a little bit of color. Um, he likes to do any creatures uh, where Lewis will only paint flowers and trees. And she says this is something that everyone should witness. People should really see this because prodigies are very rare, but identical twin prodigies, I don't believe they exist. And two years later, they are award-winning artists with their own art exhibit. They've won awards all over the country um, in adult shows. Uh, the jurors have no idea that they're children, and they enter them, and they get in, and they win awards. Even Dwyer is surprised about how far they've come. I, mean, I didn't think they can get much better than last year, but they're, they are. They're a lot better, and they, they just keep learning. In Okemos, Jasmine Watts, Home TV.